Anyone else want to try? Squatty don't take shit from nobody. Claude knows what I'm... Oh, you okay? The flowers. Uh... Oh, yeah. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. A commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Ha, oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Yeah, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Operation Northern Cross. Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. Hm. Well, let's get started. Minerva! Give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. Uh. 
If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plane. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. What are the orders? We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity, its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward, to victory! Countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E, Chapter 1, The Battle of Fort Crest.